Hey Windows Warriors, welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this video, then likely you have a computer virus or an otherwise misbehaving PC. I've been removing computer viruses since the 90s and I'm finally starting to look old enough for that to sound right. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the method that's helped millions of you guys free yourself from malware. However, as is tradition, I like to post an update to this video every year. So let's get to it. All right, this method works on all versions of Windows up to Windows 7, which means it won't work on Vista or XP. So Windows 7 or newer, it will work absolutely the same. The script I'm gonna show you adjusts based upon your version. Now, just like in the other videos, we are gonna use Tronscript. However, this one's gonna be a bit updated. We're gonna be taking some things out that are not so good for everybody and just focus on removing viruses and fixing machines. So you'll go to the link here in the description. It's here on Reddit. It. It's through the Tronscript environment. And if you go to here in the link, you'll see these links right here in the HTTPS official. I'm going to go ahead and download that one. But you can go to any of these you want that are based upon your location. I'm going to go with the official link right here. And then you're going to have these options here. If you want to do the checksums, if you are very security savvy and you want to make sure the link's okay. But if you're getting it through the Reddit, everything should be fine. If you want to download it via torrent, you can go here. But most people, like myself, are going to be downloading the EXE right here. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And this may take a few minutes to download. While that's downloading, here's a quick word from our biggest sponsor, Aura, on how you can keep yourself safe online. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura, who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. Okay, mine's done downloading. If you had any trouble downloading it, your antivirus or your system might be alerting to the fact that Tron is uh, not a verified executable. Um, the Tron script is made by a community of volunteers, so it's not affiliated with a major software publisher, so it might alert. And then some antivirus software, uh, particularly free ones, will alert on Rkill, which is inside Tron, uh, which scans for rootkits and other things, and sometimes scanners will think that it's a rootkit. Another thing on the Tronscript community, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of respect for these guys for what they do, particularly the author, but the community is not at all grateful for all the action we're throwing at them, particularly because we had millions of people um, light up on our old video and go down to the Tron script community and start asking questions and they aren't about having that uh, especially this guy uh, but anyway so when it's done downloading we want to go ahead and find the folder where we download it to for most of you guys it'll be in the downloads folder and it is for me and what this file here this Tron executable is actually a self extracting zip file so all the things we need are actually packaged inside so we'll just double click to open this and what it's doing is, is it's extracting all the folders and files that uh, are associated with this script. Now what Tron is, is literally a technician's automation script. It's to save technicians time and automate processes. And what it does for the regular person is it allows you to perform a lot of IT repair bench level tasks, such as malware removal, things that people charge you $200 for at places like Geek Squad. Not trying to name names, but that's one that's very well known. If you go to an IT repair bench and you want them to remove viruses for you, it can easily cost two or $300 easily. Okay, so once it's done it's extracting, we have two folders here. We have the Tron and we have integrity verification. The only folder we need is Tron, and if we open it up, we can see there's a Tron bat here, this Tron file. Now we're not gonna use this one because we've covered this in our previous videos. If you wanna do everything that Tron does automatically, and that could be a 12 hour process, probably from four to 12 hours, it's kind of a scorched earth kind of way of going for malware removal these days. So we're not gonna do that now. 
We're actually going to be doing some other things, but before we get there, the Tron author would really like me to have you to remind you to read the instructions, especially if you're going to do anything other than what I tell you to do, because there are things that you can do if you don't follow what I'm telling you that can harm your system. So just do what I'm telling you or read the instructions if you're going to go on your own, because there's, there's no warranty for this. So what we'll do is we'll open up the resources folder right here, and we're only gonna use two of all these folders. Now, all of these folders go to all of the various steps that were included in my very lengthy video, which if you wanna do that, or if you wanna check that video, you can check on the channel. It's the one with the most views, cause that one literally blew up the internet apparently. But in this one, we're only gonna run the prep and then the disinfect stage. Now the prep is for safety and also to kill malware that might be trying to interfere with our processes here. So first we're gonna go to stage zero prep and then we're gonna scroll down here and then we'll go down here to stage zero prep, this little file down here. We're gonna right click and run as an administrator. And what this is gonna do is it's going to first, it's going to create a restore point so that if anything goes wrong, nothing should go wrong, but you never know. We can always go back to before we started Tron. So right now it's creating a basically a save on our computer so we can always go back to it if something goes wrong. Like what if it deleted a file that we wanted, which it shouldn't do, but it's always good to be prepared before doing any kind of serious operations on your computer. Then it launched Rkill. We talked about this a little bit. What Rkill does is it checks for malicious processes running in the background and kills them okay and what it does is because many malware will, will hinder your your attempts to remove malware so we need to kill those all right and right now it's saying that we need um, net framework 3.5 and it includes net 2.0 and 3.0 we do need this this is actually a feature of Windows which practically all computers need it but we definitely need it for Tron so we're gonna go ahead and download and install this feature so it's gonna go ahead and do that this is perfectly normal and so after it runs Rkill to kill processes in the background that might be malicious, um, it's going to run Process Killer, which is another attempt to do that. And then it's also going to run TDSS Killer. What TDSS Killer is, is a, uh, is a rootkit scanner. It's going to look for the super hidden uh, malware that's often undetectable. You have to use specialized scanners to detect rootkits, and TDSS Killer is one of those. So we'll go back into here. All right, so that actually finished. Now we're just finishing downloading these files and then we can proceed to uh, the disinfect stage. Okay, once it's done, it says that the following feature was installed. So everything's done, we can go ahead and close this. And now we're back here. So we're gonna go back to the resources folder that we were at previously. And then we're gonna go here to the stage three disinfect folder. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And then we're going to run one, two, three, we're going to run four scanners here. And the whole point of running multiple types of scanners, and this is what we do in the, in the repair bench, is we'll run a different type of mal, uh, malware scanner for all the different types of malware. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and select this file here. We're going to run it as administrator. And this is going to require elevation, so yes. And so it's going to run all these scanners one by one. It's gonna run an adware scanner. It's gonna run malware bytes, which is good for getting Trojans and Bitcoin miners. <clears throat> and it's going to install malware bytes here. So we're going to go ahead and, this part does require our input. So once this pop-up comes, you're gonna get here and then scan now. And then this is gonna run. It's also running uh, Sophos. So basically it's running a ton of scanners. This is how it's able to successfully remove so many malware, is not only the number of scanners we're using, but also the order of the processes we did things. First we ran Rkill and, and <clears throat> Process Killer and then TDSS Killer, and then we started running scanners all in this particular order. This is what separates um, an advanced user versus a novice user as as far as malware removal goes, is the order in which things are done. Okay, so malware bytes is already done. And so we can go ahead and close this. And it's running Kaspersky virus removal tool. So when it's actually doing this on your computer, actually, other than inter interacting with malware bytes to start the scan, you can actually just leave this alone. This can take anywhere from 10 minutes to uh, 45 minutes to an hour even, depending on how fast your system is. So at this part, you just wanna leave it there. 
Now, a lot of you guys are asking me what antivirus I recommend because there's obviously we're using a lot of scanners and there's always so many options out there. Um, I actually use ESET. So I've been using ESET for the last uh, six or seven years. They're also a big uh, supporter of the channel. Um, and I worked really hard to make that happen because until then they were not really working with YouTubers that much. But what I like about ESET products is they're not only extremely strong against malware protection, um, this is also enterprise level because they give you the same amount of protection as they do their big corporate, corporate customers. So you have internet protection, a great firewall, network protection. So it's actually looking for hackers that are trying to infiltrate on your network. It has an automatic intrusion detection system, but what it really has on this particular version, smart security, and why I'm using this version, is because when I activate this proactive protection mode, I get live grid, which whenever I download a file and I try to open it, it's gonna actually hold it and it's gonna run it at ESET HQ. And until ESET HQ confirms that it's safe, it takes like five to 10 seconds, it won't let it run on my system. And no other antivirus out there I've found does that. So it's literally gives me the ability to lock down my system. Um, and they've just supported me really well. I love these products. And so if you'd like to check out this, this is my recommendation. I have links in the description which have a, a direct link to the coupons page. So you automatically check what the best promo is for ESET products. Products. Okay, so checking back in on the scan, we're still leaving it alone and it's going through its processes. It might not look like it's doing anything, and in fact, it says it cannot open certain things, and it might say um, it might say all these things that it can't do. It completely ignore any kind of errors you get on this kind of screen because the the, the script is is dumb. It's going to try to scan every single file, including files that aren't possible to open. They're protected by Windows. That's a good thing. Windows upgrading its security is protecting its files. It's not allowing malware to touch them, so it's not allowing us to touch them either. So that's a good thing. Everything here is running its course. Um, it's running the last part of Sophos Remover. And then once this is all done, you'll be able to go into to see what things you've detected, you go into the C, and then you'll go into logs, and then Tron, and then raw logs. And here is where you can find all of the different uh, things that you've detected. Now, if you're not comfortable looking through logs, it's okay. Your system's actually clean. You've already run all these scanners. It's very, very effective at that. But if you want to be sure, absolutely certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt, so you can relax, I got you. If you go over here to YouTube and you go to my channel, you're going to see a video called How to Detect Virus on Your Computer. I'll actually link it in the description. This will teach you how to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your system is clean or infected, and then you'll be able to relax. And again, that will be in the description. Now the last thing you need to do is to restart your machine. Very important. Once your machine is rebooted, you should be virus free and good to go. If you're still having any kind of issues with performance or errors, check out my, my channel because I have other videos which are specifically for removing errors, speeding up your machine, and they should take care of you. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You could also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time.